Good morning from Volcano Bay. After going to Typhoon Lagoon on Christmas Eve, I was like, man, I wonder what Volcano Bay is like. So let's go see how Volcano Bay is with the crowd levels and everything. It seems pretty quiet right now. Yeah. So that's good. Oh yeah, it looks like there's hardly anybody here. It's been so long since I've been to Volcano Bay. I'm excited to see if there's anything new and exciting here. I think I've only been here once. Oh yeah. Like last year, I think I went one time. Oh dang, yeah. now, so everything's gonna be new for you. I think so. I'm just excited for like the food because I think last time we didn't get to eat anything because we came so close to closing. Yeah. So hopefully today I get to try something. Oh yeah, look, the Lazy River is almost completely empty. Oh, I like this. Most everything is enjoy anytime. Well, these are just, oh, Kokiri is the big one at the top of the mountain and it's a ride now. That's a good sign. Ooh, Krakatoa's a ride now. Yeah. Should we, should we ride some rides and then yeah, before it gets sure. too busy? So we, yeah, were, yeah. we were thinking we would do like walk around and update a little bit, but I feel like we need to ride the rides now and then do the update so we don't have to wait in, le in the lines. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change really quick and go ride a couple of rides, but unfortunately, Volcano Bay does not allow GoPros on any of the rides. So there's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, when we come back, we're gonna be completely wet and you guys won't have gotten on any of the rides with us. But we can take you guys in the Lazy River, the Fast River, and the Wave Pole. Yeah. So we'll do that for sure. 20 minutes later. So we actually rode three rides in a very short amount of time. I think we came at a good time. Yeah. Like not, because it's definitely getting more crowded. So 11.30ish was pretty all right. Yeah, we tapped to get our place in line on Krakatau. Yeah. It was a 20 minute wait. Mm -hmm. And then we rode two other rides in that 20 minute wait time. We did the mat racers, the mat slides, which was really fun, but at the end of the mat slide, it tells you to lift your mat up so that you don't like nose dive. And I like really cracked my back. Oh no. Like, I was like, who? Oh, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take a little, a little rest while we eat some food. And then what was the other one we did? Kaniwa tubes. That was really fun, I loved it. I think we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. that one's usually always a ride now. Is it? Yeah. That's a good one, I like yeah. that. So for lunch, we went to the Feasting Frog and I got tacos and they have two different kinds of tacos so I got one of each I got this the carne asada taco you can kind of see it down in there it's kind of good and then this one's the chicken taco oh that is a large chunk of chicken in there and it's got some sort of sauce oh salsa and I got plantain chips and Jen got the poke poke bowl it actually looks really darn good it has a, a pineapple honey soy slaw oh or salsa maybe and then plantain chips yeah you got a lot better looking plantain chips than I did you can have them. Oh no, I've already eaten some of mine. Oh. So we were just kind of like walking around doing a quick update and we talked to one of the team members and they told us that there's been a few updates and there's a few updates coming. One of the things that they told us is that when the park first opened, Express was just like a paper band that you wore, but now it is on your Tapu Tapu. So it's already on your Tapu Tapu after you pay the extra charge for Express because it is an upcharge. And what we'll do is we'll put a link to Universal's website down below so you guys can get a little bit more information about that. But it definitely streamlined the process. Another thing that they said is some of the team members are getting new uniforms. Good times. <laughs> and then what was the third thing that they said? The, the bands now have the keeper on the back, so they stay on better. Yeah. Which is a good idea. It is a good <laughs> idea. They were having a lot of trouble with the bands with their tapu tapus falling off in the Fearless River and stuff like that. It's pretty intense, so it makes sense that it might come off. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We're getting ready to ride this actually and what we'll do is we'll have one of us waiting outside to watch the other one coming off. Tim is actually going to go on this bad boy right here but what I thought was really cool is that they actually have chairs around this like little landing pool. I think this might be one of the coolest places to grab a spot and hang out for the day. I love this but I'm going to hang out over here and try to get him while he's coming down. <laughs> I could hear you coming all the way down. I couldn't tell. I filmed literally like 57 people before you came down because I couldn't tell which one was you, but oh, no. all, all I needed to know was that you were going to woohoo all the way down. <laughs> I could totally hear you all the way from the top. Oh, I figured that's what I was trying to do is give you like a signal like it's me. <laughs> Here I come. Did you love it? Yeah, it was fun. Everybody that was coming down looked like they were having a lot of fun. Is that one of your favorite ones? Yeah, it is. I like the purple one better, but it wasn't right now. What was it? Was a it? 10 minute wait. Oh, was it? Whoa, look yeah. at this thing. Yeah. 
Holy cow. But you waited about 10 minutes. Was it? It felt like longer than 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know. I will say this, this slide has the most lifeguard calls of any slide in the park because oh. it's an eight foot or a 10 foot yeah. pool underneath. So you have to be a really good swimmer. I think that's part of the reason why you waited so long too. Yeah. But I don't know, this is an interesting slide. Yeah. yeah. For whatever reason, I don't remember this seating area the last time that we came. You can see the volcano in the background. Oh no and oh yeah are right there and the wave pool is right here. I feel like this was a planter before. Look at all of the beautiful two-story cabanas. Oh yeah, one day we'll rent a cabana. I don't know. I think they're pretty pricey. Yeah, but you get like a concierge and stuff. We saw somebody getting their food delivered. Yeah. So do you get, oh yeah, there's somebody getting their food delivered right now. And you also have your own Tapu Tapu location inside so you don't have to go to the front of the ride to get a Tapu Tapu. Really? You just do it from inside your cabana and then go to the ride when it's ready. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. yeah let's do that one day. Okay, so we just had a little mini photo shoot out by the wave pool and we'll put some of those pictures in right now. Camera noise. Now we're gonna get the GoPro and go in the uh, Fearless River, the Lazy yeah. River, and the wave pool. It's getting a little bit crowded, so I think now is the time to do those no weight things. Yeah. All right, Jen, you ready for the Fearless River? To go all the way up to the very top of the volcano and do Kokuri body plunge, which is the drop slide at the very top. Jen's I'm gonna, gonna stay down here and I'm gonna film you coming out of it and your reaction and how big your wedgie is. Yeah. Because I feel like doesn't this ride give you a wedgie? I think so. Oh no. <laughs> How'd you do? I did it. The screen stopped working, so I don't know if I'm actually filming you or not. You are. Am I? Yeah, we so, did it. Did you love it? Yeah, it was fun. Did you have a big wedgie? No. <laughs> okay. I crossed my legs. Nice. You're supposed to do. Ride full means that the wait time is until five. Oh, so you can't, you can't, you can't get Red Krakatoa anymore, but everything else is right now. Then I think that you should definitely come early. Yeah, oh yeah. We didn't come when park opened because it was cold, so we came like an hour, two, like two hours later, and well, that was perfect. Well, relatively cold. Right, I think for you guys it would be warm. For us it was like 72, so that was a little bit chilly. So we waited till it was like 78. Yeah, and now it's 84. And now we're gonna get ice cream. Yeah, there's a little cart here that sells all kinds of different things. Like veggie straws. And cashews. Oh, you can get Oreos. Yeah. And Pringles. This is kind of goggles. Oh, and they have all these fun hats. I kind of like that hat. I do too. So we forgot to talk to you guys about our lunch. Yeah. And how we enjoyed it. How did you like your Poke Poke Bowl? Okay, so I wanted to try it last year when I came and I'll link that video in the corner and down below when we came at night and that, that eating place had closed for the day. So I didn't get to try it and I said the next time we come I'm gonna try it and I like it, 
but it was very sweet. It yeah. was a pineapple salsa with red peppers. Also, it had honey and soy sauce. Right. It was good. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting it to be so sweet, but I probably would not order it again. Right. However, if you like sweet poke, I think you would like it. Yeah, and I had both tacos, the chicken and the beef, and I like the beef a lot. Like, I liked it a lot, a lot. I tried a bite of them and they were really good. It was steak, right? Yeah, it was carne asada. It was really, really delicious. Yeah. yeah. And the chicken was kind of like, eh, just chicken. So if I got it again, I would get two steak ones. Yeah, I would. I think I want to try the steak ones next yeah. time. And like I said, the pokey wasn't bad. It was actually really refreshing and the fish was super fresh. The fish was great, but it just, it wasn't my like flavor palette. I'm and glad I, I tried it. I think that the next time that we come, I think I'm gonna go for those tacos again because I've had mostly everything in this park. You're not gonna get a hot dog? No, I'm not gonna get a hot dog. They have a foot long hot dog. And I think I liked the tacos the best. Yeah. But the only problem was it was kind of expensive for the amount of food that you got. It was, like my pokey was $13. Yeah. And I don't think I got $13 worth of food, but I know that fresh fish is gonna be more expensive. So, you know, it all kind of adds in. I'll tell you guys this. Poke bowl, two tacos, a Coca-Cola, a bottle of water, $32. Yeah, and you can use your, your um, annual pass discount, but you have to have your annual pass with you. Right. And we didn't, it was in the locker because we were super wet. And we usually just use tap to pay on the Tapu Tapu because everything is linked in our universal account. So we don't have to carry anything around with us. We can buy everything on the Tapu Tapu and that's super convenient. But it should recognize that you have an annual pass. Should. So, eh, you know. With the fact that they added the Express to the Tapu Tapu, I think that might be the next thing that they do. I hope so. It would make everything a little bit um, less expensive, which is nice. Yeah. So. Let's go get some ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream time, ice cream Kona, ice cream time. Time to get the water refusion. I'm kind of excited for it. It's banana, raspberry, orange, and strawberry. This is our water refusion which we've seen pictures of it on Instagram and it looked a little bit more vibrant than this. I guess it depends on like the powder to like yogurt ratio maybe, yeah. like the flavor to ice cream ratio. So I feel well, like you hear the drums in the background. Yeah. This is like our ice cream sacrifice for the <laughs> gods of the, well, who is it, a Krakatoa? The water, Waturi. No, but what's the Krakatoa? Well, oh, the, the, the god of the volcano is Vol. Yeah, this is my sacrifice to Vol. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting because it's all kinds of different flavors in there. It's really good. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be, I'm not a big fan of blue raspberry. We got a lot of blue raspberry, but like, it's really good. It kind of tastes like cotton candy. Right? I have ice cream all over my face. This is what you do at uh, theme parks, right? What? You get ice cream all over your face like a kid. Whoa. <laughs> I love this. Wow, so this is new. They have these themed Tapu Tapu detection units that once you leave, you have to take off your Tapu Tapu and you go through here to make sure that you still don't have it on you because you have to return it. One of the team members said that it's more exciting when it goes off, so he went to go get a Tapu Tapu so we can said, see it. Well, I said, what noise does it make? And he's like, do you want to see? And I was like, uh, yes, please. <laughs> right, here it goes. Ooh. Oh. Detected. detected. That's pretty awesome. That is cool. Wow, these are fun. Well, that was a really fun trip to Volcano Bay, yeah. as always. I have only been here, this is my second time. Have I only been here two times? I feel like you've been here three. Maybe not, maybe I, you've only been here twice. I'll have to go back to the videos. I can only remember one time. Yeah. But this was really a good day. It was. The last time that I came, I we rode a slide that scared the heck out of me. Every ride that we rode today was really fun. More tame, more my speed. Yeah. I don't know, I liked it a lot. I had a really good time, and uh, there was not really any wait. So I think if you come in like early-ish in the morning, and you do the things that are right now, get all of the big rides out of the way, and then just spend the rest of the afternoon in the lazy river, in the fast river, in the wave pool. What were the slides that were always right now, the green and blue? Oh, that's uh, Taniwa tubes. Those are good. Yeah. yeah. And also, come like early January. Yeah. Because it's still hot outside. I think that that's what happens is people don't think of January as a time to go to the water park. Right, and it totally is here. Yeah. So, with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Connor. Hi, I'm Lucy. We're from Scotland, and now it's time to pay the price.